Hello everyone and welcome back to Bebenberg in part two of this Manor Lords playthrough. Uh, in part one, we managed to get our little settlement up and running. We've got the very basics of everything set up. Um, I think the last thing we did was get the Woodcutter's Lodge and the Forester's Hut up and running. Uh, but we are currently attempting to attract more families because we need more workers. And at the moment, we have three empty houses. I don't know how long it takes for people to actually turn up, but... We are, we're in a good spot. We've got lots of food, loads of berries, loads of bread. So we've actually got 16 months worth of, of, of food and two months of fuel. Now, we only have one unassigned family at the moment for construction, which is kind of why I need more families to turn up. I think if we got... No, they're, all, they're in as well. So, yeah. Uh, but approval rating is high enough that hopefully we will start to attract some people in. I just don't know how long it's going to take. And before we go on much further, of course, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment down below and make sure you sub for more. Discord link is in the description as well, so make sure you keep across all of that. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy your stay. So are these the trees he is planting? This would be... Can we can we tell him where to go and work? Oh, we can... So unlimited work area. Yeah, I don't mind. He can just kind of go wherever. That's fine. Go and plant your seedlings around. But hurry up about it, because otherwise the... Uh, the old logging camps are going to um, destroy <laughs> all of the nearby woodland. Uh, right, so the plan for today is to sort out a little bit of food production. Even though food is good, the berries, I'm assuming, are a, a finite... Oh, they're not finite. They're, they're growing now. Look at this. They're growing quite nicely. Yeah, they are... Uh, they're growing. It's a rich deposit as well. Is that what is that what the little crown thing? Yeah, it does. The crown thing means rich deposit. Right, so um, just quickly, before we start looking at actually the farms, what I want to have a check first is where we can plant our farms. Now, ideally, I want to put them up here. I just want to make sure that we've got good growing facilities up here. So rye will grow wherever. Barley, there's a, there's a sort of spot in here where we can grow. Flax is more this side. And Emma's around here, so... So we could, we could have like almost like a row of farms around here. Yeah. I mean, Rye will literally go wherever. I think we're okay, you know? I mean, we can have the... the so the Emma wheat can go around here. Flax can come a bit more central over here. Barley can go in the corner, but obviously we've just got to be careful because there is clay over there. Um, I mean, we could, I mean, we suppose we could put... We could go over here. I, I just I don't want them to be... Uh, we could eat into the forest a little bit, I guess. It's probably not the end of the world. So, um, I do think, though, we probably need to wait until we get some more families turn up. So, in the meantime, from a food production point of view, obviously, we've built these houses here because we can have a backyard extension, and we did this deliberately. So, what we can do is we can spend the limited amount of money we have. We've only got 50. We can get a couple of little... Um, we can have a vegetable garden there. We can have... We can only have one. We can have two more vegetable gardens, or we can... Let's have two more vegetable gardens. Maybe you can have one there like this. There we go. So this will allow them, I believe, this will allow them to grow their own vegetables and then they will be able to sell them themselves at the marketplace to other people. I think. I think that's what, how it works. And look, I mean, you can see from here, from the food bar, that vegetables, eggs and meat, which I think you'll get from the others because I think these guys will give you meat, will they? Oh, that produces hides. Um, you will be able to uh, to store them almost in the main supply, if you like. So I think it does contribute to the main supply in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and immediately, here she comes. Doing some gardening. There we go. Right. So at the moment, we're kind of playing the waiting game here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. And I, I don't know whether or not... We can probably put the, the, the basis of the fields in, can't we? And just have them not work for the time being. Uh, fields in Manor Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plough by hand. For starting village, try to use a field size of about one Morgan. 
Morgan. Uh, later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock Heavy Plow, which allows plowing much larger fields more effectively, utilising the oxen. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about the soil that they grow on. So, for example, if I did this... Fuck me, that's a big field. That's, that's 0.9 uh, Morgan right there. God damn. Uh, right, so maybe we don't necessarily need to build a one farm of each right now. So I think maybe bread is probably the best thing to try and maybe build a construction source on. And we convert grain to flour and flour to bread. So we would need the windmill and a communal oven. It does, again, it's the, it's the needing more family. So we're going to need one family to work the field, at least. We're going to need one family to work the windmill and one family to work the communal oven. So that's three extra families just, for, just to get that production up and running. Or... I mean, I don't think... I think from a food point of view, that is the only farm that's going to work because flax... I'm not sure what that... Beer, barley will be made into beer. What's flax going to be made? Is flax going to be made some kind of construction? Maybe a... A roof tile, perhaps? Don't know what flax is flax is used for. Am I being stupid here? Berries into dyes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Produces linen. There you go. So, and imp important. Maybe not right now. Okay. And where is, our, where is our nearest hunting? Okay, we could go hunting over there for wild animals at some point. That's not actually as far away as I originally thought. Okay. But I think we will get a farm set up for wheat. So Emma, I am 99% certain, is the wheat. Where did we say we were going to put it? So barley's over there. Rye can go anywhere. doesn't matter. Barley is over that side. Flax is there. I mean, the thing that's thrown me, actually, is the sheer size of the fields that we need. Because what I don't want to do is take up too much space. Flax is probably going to have to go here. Barley over there. What was that noise? That sounded... That didn't sound good. Okay. All right, I think we'll, we'll put the we'll put the wheat over here. I think flax will go there. Barley can go more that way. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to eat into this woodland area. Uh, not enough supplies. It's fine. Okay, one field goes there. A farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types, or even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Okay, worth keeping an eye on at the moment then. So does it, does it tell us... I don't think it says anything at the moment. Uh, right, so that'll be a wheat field. Don't think based on... I mean, I guess you could... I mean, you won't get... I mean, it's only yellow, so I don't think that's horrendous. It's probably the next step down. Or maybe we just rotate Emma and Rye there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, why are they upset? Homelessness? Why is there homelessness? There should be no homelessness. We have enough homes for everybody. Okay, that makes no sense. Why? Why is there? Why is there a homelessness trait? We don't even have. We don't even have the homelessness camp. Okay, I don't. I don't understand that at all. Homelessness is still. I. I Oh, that's previous. Ah, right. 
I think I've just worked it out. So I think it runs on like a 30 day, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, cycle, I guess. So in after the next 30 days, the market food variety plus two at the top there, it says recent 30 days is going to be the only one that matters. The minus three previous is a is a hangover from before we built the houses, which hopefully will disappear. And then our approval rating should start to improve a lot quicker. Hey, look, we can see little shoots of vegetables. Love to see it. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think I've worked that out. I think that's going to be okay. That's going to go. Uh, right, which is the supplies we're worried about? I mean, we could probably put them in the woodcutters for the time being, couldn't we? Because... We're not doing any construction for now, so we could put them to work and do that. That's probably okay. Uh, we have got military. So we haven't actually looked at the military stuff yet, so we could create a new unit here. So we've got 10 recruits, 20 spears, and 20 large shields. Uh, so be that then. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield units depend on the type, uh, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villagers' residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit re the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. So you've got to get everything ready. So there we go. So we've got them. The spear units have got shields and whatever. That's fine. And that all of that stuff will be over there in the storehouse, I presume. Will we see evidence of where that is? Don't actually know where those things will be stored. Do we need some kind of uh, building to sort of distribute the uh, the arms? Oh, dear. Oh, a new family! Yes! So we have a new uh, Friedlin. Anybody else coming in? No, none on there at the moment. But that's good. So we've now got, straight away, we've got another family that's moved in, although he is a family of one for the moment. Right, where are they all going? They come to pick up. Oh, they are, look! Why do I have to carry this alone? They've all come in. They've all come to collect their uh, their swords and sp and uh, sorry, their spears and shields. So even though we have absolutely no intentions of going to war at all or anything like that, I think it does make sense to at least be prepared. So they will take all these. Uh, look, the ladies are going out to collect them as well to bring them home. Uh, I just saw somebody else. So is that somebody joined his family? He's found. Is he found a wife already? He has. What a guy! Fantastic. Okay. Right. We're looking good. So everybody now then. So it says recruits missing. I'm assuming that's just because they haven't put all the required equipment into their houses for the moment. I'm assuming that's what that means. That they'll all go about and do that and do their thing, which is, which is fine. They can get cracking and do that. They've got a kid already. My word. You work fast, Friedlin and Gerhals. Right, so hopefully the not enough supplies thing will disappear because it's not timber that we're running out of. It's th I'm assuming it's the uh, it's the wood, isn't it? The, f the fuel, isn't it? Yeah, it's the fuel, the firewood. Uh, but we are still in... What month are we in? Where's the thingy? We're in June, so we're in the summer. But it does make sense to try and stockpile some of it now. Homelessness is now only minus two, so our approval rating is going up. Market food variety currently only plus one, frustratingly. Maybe we, I'll tell you what we could do, just to increase the old food variety. Do we put a little hunting camp in? Because they've only got to go over there, haven't they? So it's not, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a long walk, actually. It's a bit further than I originally thought. But if we say put that in, that's the wrong button. We put that in, I don't know, there. It's absolutely pissing it down again. What happens if we go and do a visit mode while it's raining? Still bringing their weapons home, look. Oh, 
Excuse me. I just think this looks amazing. Oh, look, carrying the shields, look. Fucking hell. Is there a lion here? Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the process of doing this has kind of paused our economy, hasn't it? Because everybody has decided that their priority is to go and collect the spears and the shields, which is which is kind of all right. But we uh, hopefully they're all going to be just about done now, and they can get back to actually uh, back to work effectively. So what have we got here? What you got? What have you got for sale today? That piece of bread at the back looks a little secondhand, if that's what that is. Love the little voice notes as they go round. It just again, it just adds that immersion. It's so good. What I need to see is the woodcutters lodge doing some stuff now. The um, the hitching post. Sort of thinking maybe that needs to move. I think, we, I think we put it there, so it's nearer the logging camp and nearer the heavy stuff, basically. I mean, this is a. Very. I don't know if this is actually set in England or whether this is set somewhere else. I haven't. Uh, I either haven't looked or I've forgotten. But the weather of this uh, <laughs> severity in June is very British. Everything getting very sodden. That oxen sounds like he's in considerable pain. Such such amazing little pieces of attention to detail. Resources stolen by nearby bandits. Aye, right. right. Maybe we're going. Maybe we're going to war before I uh, before I thought. So how are we doing over here? So we're making some firewood. I'm assuming firewood is one is one fuel per month. So I don't know how many winter months. I mean, if it is purely just winter, in theory, that's November, December, January, is it? Or is it December, January, February? I think it's December, January, February. Or it could be November, December, January, February. I don't know. It depends on how long the months last on this. So either way, we have... Have we got any more families that have moved in yet? Not yet. So we've got six families... One fuel per month, four months. So we were going to effectively, to get through the winter months, if it's on the assumption it's four months, we are going to need 24 firewood. So they need to uh, to get cracking. So where are they? I mean, I assume they're taking the, uh, the firewood to the uh, storehouse, aren't they? So what are they... Um what are they taking? So they are... Hang on a second. Oh, actually, they're going to chop trees down to make firewood. So they're not actually taking nearby timber. They're just straight up going to cut down more trees. Right, you better you better get going then, the old forester. You got a you got a job on to replace all these trees. We are in full. Yeah, you got to work. You got a job on here, Mister Woodcutter's Lodge. If they're just chopping trees down to um to make firewood, we are going to have the full industrial revolution on our hands before too long. There's going to be no trees left. Uh, oh look, vegetables! Vegetables are beginning to appear. Nice, nice, nice. Housing there, we've got some growing in here as well, we have. Love to see it. I need one bread left, we're almost down to berries, which is going to be a drop in that, because it'll be market food variety will be less. 
Food variety is at 100%. How can it be? Uh, right, hunting camp. Yeah, take that other family. So this family will now be our hunters. The firewood is going up rather slowly, worryingly. They are going to have to uh, sort themselves out a little bit in the summer. Does it say actually how many... Um, Doesn't say what they've got in stock, does it, in each house? That would be that would be nice to know what they've got in store. But with the running out of bread momentarily, we should replace that with some vegetables and hopefully some meat. And we'll also get hides, of course, from the uh, the deer. So two birds, one stone in there, and then we can look to make some clothing as well. So we are, we're doing all right here. We've still got plenty of food. We've still got 16 months worth of, of food, but only two months worth of fuel. So I'm assuming that even though that's not going up, that's of course only the storage. What it's not showing is, is that how much firewood each house has got. And therefore, we don't know. I mean, they're just saying it's refueled. I can't hover over the question mark to see what else it says but yeah they're taking the firewood that we're making they're actually putting it into stock in their own houses can we see do they have any visible storage outside the house doesn't look like they do so yeah never mind right so he's he's off another one is about to go hunting as well he's fetching water so we should start to see some Meat, hopefully, of course, we've got our field over there, which is currently not doing a great deal, which is fine. But look, market food variety is now plus five. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh... Oh, there's still eight bread and eight berries in there. Okay, so this is... This, okay, so this is getting a slightly confusing then. Because it's only this is obviously our storage. That is what is in the pantry over there, or in the granary, is one loaf of bread. But it's not showing the fact that there's still eight in the stall here that Anna is it Anna that's working the stall currently Doesn't, can I see who's who's working the stall so they share responsibility so the uh, the forager is that only the forager that's doing that so the forager does it all and the granary person doesn't or do they share it Hans, Agnes, and Fritz. Yeah, so the storage people are, are just storage, so somebody else so, sorts that out. Okay, we really need some more people to move in. Ah, look, it does. So if they've got firewood, it says there. So how much firewood have you people been stealing? So some of them, I mean, they've, it says they're refueled, but maybe that means that they've just got enough for right now. They don't have any. That's not what I meant. Get away. Oh, what is this? You can have all of it. What? They can have all of this in their garden? That's, uh, that'd be quite good. Uh, right, anyway. So, yeah, I think even if they're refueled, they're just not storing any. Only this house here appears to have a spare firewood. But our approval continues to grow up all but slowly, albeit, but it is going in the right direction. Um, yeah, I feel like we're, we're kind of not making huge amounts of progress here, so I think I'm going to uh, engage fast forward mode. And see if we can't get one or two more families to uh, to join in these empty houses here. 
So it says we have two meat, but I'm not seeing where it is. Is he currently bringing one back? No, they're going outwards. So is it stored here in the camp? Ah, yes, it is. Look, Looks like it is currently there. Someone from the uh, granary is now coming to get it. That looks like more than two to me. Are you... Can I see how many you're carrying? I can't, but he's just going to carry it by, uh, by hand. There we go. So we have our first hide. And we now have meat to put to the, uh, the food stall. I wonder if that will create a, a separate stall, maybe? So I'm mad. I, I wonder if in the game, I don't think the uh, the wife is going to go out hunting. I think she'll be the responsible for doing a lot of the transportation and maybe even creating a stall over here to sell the meat. So they're going to put the meat there. Oh, look at that you, again. You can see it, see it hanging up. And they Im immediately pick it back up again because they're now going <laughs> to. <laughs> then now we're going to go and take it straight over here. There we go. So we now have... Actually, the ladies... Is, it's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously the, if the ladies aren't doing the hunting, the big, the big jobs, if you like, it's seemingly almost like they... Uh, uh, they carry more. I think they can carry an extra one in that uh, cart they're putting. Uh, a new family has moved in. Here we go. Peter is in. So that is our seventh family that has moved in. Um, so what we can do now is look to get ourselves a farmhouse uh, set up. Now, if I remember, I'm just going to quickly do this. Um... Uh, so I feel like somewhere in the middle here is a good is a good spot. Go like that. It's more rows and then yeah, so the farmhouse will now begin working over there. So food variety has has dropped. We're back down to 51% approval all of a sudden. Which is weird because we've got three different types of food on offer there. And then these vegetables can't be a million miles off from being ready to harvest in the back of people's gardens. So it's kind of odd. Do we also need to think about getting a trading post set up at some point, by the way? I'm going to put the trading post along the main road. Probably makes sense, doesn't it? And do that there. Get that building underway. Because if we start producing lots of stuff, I mean, we can probably look to make, like, if we start getting the, where's the mining industry? Where's mining? Mining. We've got a stone cutters and a mining pit. We've got clay over there and stone cutters there. We start getting enough of that, we can start exporting that and making some money. So that potentially could be the, uh, the next thing to focus on. And there's iron over there as well, so we could potentially do that. 176 iron. 234 clay and 180 stone. So plenty of it. And we're going to need some more money because our regional wealth is such that we cannot now make any further changes to any of our uh, plots. Oh. As we see a man skinning uh, his, his kill. And here comes the next one, look. Why do I have to 
Very, very cool, isn't it? You can actually see, so it's actually being done in stages. It's not just an action, look. You can actually see the carcass is being... Gener uh, slowly but surely is being skinned and carved into uh, to meat for, to, uh, for food. Very, very good. So I thought I'd work this out, but the homelessness thing still exists, and it's been longer than 30 days, I'm sure of it. I'm not sure if that's a bug. I might have to go and have a look in the old uh, Steam discussion things and see what's going on. Oh, look, we've got different types of veg as well. So these, I'm assuming, they I mean, they look like carrots, right? Here we've got cabbages. What did this one have? This one's also got carrots. Yeah, it's very, very cool. So we've got all of the... Uh, I need three up there. Three up there and four down there. So these buildings are going to be a little while. Uh, right. Um, I think I've reached a fairly natural stopping point here. It's a slightly shorter episode this one, but I feel like in the next one, things will start to ramp up. We've got the trading post, which means we should start be able to selling some goods. We have a farmhouse over there, which means we might, if we can get one more family to move in, be able to start farming the land. And then we'll probably have to build some more houses to be able to then start the production of wheat into bread. But then we won't have to worry about that straight away because I'd imagine, given the time of year that, that it is, that we are very likely to um, have... T oh, we might be able to... If we can get the... Um, okay, yeah, autumn, September to November there. That answers the question about um, firewood consumption because it says it there about winter, December through to February. Uh, seasonal resources are gone, so things like berries and stuff are going to disappear. Um, but what it will mean is, is that if I can get the, the farmhouse done reasonably quickly before the end of summer i might be able to get a group out onto the field and get them to um harvest and plow plow and sow the crops ready for them to start growing and then hopefully by the time we come to harvest them next summer we will have everything in place that we need for that to happen um we've got so much food we've got 99 berries thankfully we've got more than enough food to last us through the winter anyway yeah we are we are Definitely good to go on that. So meat is a little bit slow to come through, but that's that's fine. We don't need to uh, worry too much. Yeah, the, the ox is not the fastest at getting stuff up there, is he? Bless him. But anyway, I think we've reached an actual stopping point. We've got loads to do in this. I'm loving every single second of this so far. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. As I say, slightly shorter episode this one, but in the next one, I feel like we're going to have lots more to do and lots more to see. Uh, so thank you very much, everyone, for watching this episode of Manor Lords. This has been number two. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all in episode number three.